Bad knees keeping you down, but not ready just yet for a knee replacement? There is a new option. Health editor Dr. Maria Simbra shows us how it could delay or even completely eliminate a knee replacement. For firefighter Chuck Stenger, the past 20 years have been full of pain. He remembers when it first started. Knelt down to start treating a patient, and it felt like a, a nail going through my knee. Crawling and climbing ladders took its toll. It just tore it up, tore it up, tore it up. And I was just thinking, eh, it's just part of getting old. A normal knee looks like a smooth white cue ball, but Chuck had osteoarthritis, a wear and tear kind of arthritis, where it looks more like potholed asphalt. He tried steroid injections, but the pain relief only lasted a couple weeks. It's been constant for probably the last five years. Then an ad popped up on Facebook. So I clicked on it. It says if you are having uh, pain on the medial side of your knee, you've been diagnosed with osteoarthritis, fill out the survey. He pinpointed his pain to the inner part of his knee, pain that interfered with steps, ladders, and walking long distances. The next day, he got a call from California. Well, we're the manufacturer and we're running a clinical trial. Would you be interested in having this done? Sure, why not? The company referred him to doctors at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. They considered him a good candidate for the study, looking at whether a new device implanted onto the knee joint will relieve the pain and delay a knee replacement. Chuck's surgery was a week later. He was the first person in the United States to have this done. I was anxious. I wanted to get it done, get it over with. For mild osteoarthritis, ice, anti-inflammatory medicine, and physical therapy help quite a bit. But for severe cases, doctors go straight to knee replacement. But for in-between cases like Chuck's, there haven't been many options. For that reason, developers came up with this device and this study. If we can buy patients some time before they ultimately have a knee replacement until later in life, there's a real need for that. The Calypso is uh, designed to help give some relief to patients who have arthritis in the medial compartment, which also just happens to be the most common compartment to get arthritis. It has a little plate that's attached to the end of the thigh bone, another plate that's attached to the um, shin bone that decreases the force load that's transmitted across the knee. What's nice is afterwards, the patients are on crutches initially, but as they feel comfortable, they can start to put more and more weight on it. This is Chuck post-op. Aside from this five-inch scar, you can hardly tell that there's a device on the inner side of his knee joint. Who is the ideal candidate? They're not too heavy. Hopefully they're not smokers. Hopefully they're not diabetic. And then they're um, uh, middle-aged, so a little young to have a total knee uh, done. If the whole knee hurts, this isn't for you. Also, it comes with potential risks, infection, blood clots, to name a few. Can it loosen? Sure. That, that's true of any plate, screw, or implant. In the study, the doctors are comparing patients who get the device to those who get standard care, tracking discomfort and activity levels, and noting any patient characteristics that could predict a longer benefit. I've had several say right away, they could tell uh, as soon as the incision was healed, they could tell right away where they walked that uh, they were having less discomfort. This surgery and this implant is much less traumatic than a total knee replacement. And hopefully they get relief for many, many years so we can then delay or maybe even eliminate the need for knee replacement. Six weeks post-op, Chuck is doing physical therapy, and aside from the knee sometimes not bending as much as the other side, he can't tell he has a device. I'm, I'm doing things I, I haven't been able to do for 15, 20 years. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.